everyone, this is Debbie from Project 39 Mini Albums, and I want to show you a haul I got from Country Craft Creations. So these are not my design team haul, but objects, objects, items, where did objects come from? Items that I purchased just to put in my stash. So the first thing you'll see is a score tape. I use a quarter inch and three eighths a lot when I'm making mini albums and I just have to make sure that stays in stock. I have several three eighths but my quarter inch was running out so score tape always good and I don't know about you but I love the simple vintage lemon twist paper collection that came out. Now most of the collection kits and the pads were sold out so I got some individual uh, sheets and I also got these foam stickers and they're thick. I had no idea, but um, I can't tell you who inspired me, someone. It could have been Biddy Penny, to be honest with you. I'll have to double check. But making traveler's notebooks with some, um, some letters and words on it. And I thought, well, this would be perfect to go along with this collection. So I got that, and I love the different, I mean, I guess I love the turquoise and yellow. I guess that's the combination that's really striking me. But even this page alone is fabulous. So anyhow, I got that. So here is, I think I got two of each of those. Um, Simple Stories has been doing these longer um, uh, places to journal on lately. And I really, really like that. I think that's wonderful. There's bees on it. And again, it's that combination, the beautiful yellow and turquoise. And there's a couple of different shades of turquoise too. So it looks fabulous. So anyhow, there's that. This is not scratched up. That's how the paper is. So there is um, a sort of a antique lemon, not antique, vintage, that's the word, lemon soda with the yellow butterflies. And this is a nice muted background. This one paper is called Easy Peasy. I mean, it's part of the simple vintage lemon twist, but Easy Peasy. Love it. Little bees. Little little muted background on that. And here is the beautiful lemons with the turquoise. And there is a lime green mixed in there too, which looks fabulous. This paper is called Be Happy. This paper is called Squeeze the Day. Let's see what's on the other side of it. Oh yes. Yes, more of that. So opposite of this, but similar really cool. Now I purchased this paper even though it's from a different collection. This is um, a slice of summer. I just like the the lemons in here and thought it would go real well. There's some blue. So here is four by four elements and these are fabulous aren't they? And I like the black and white. That's going to be a nice combination to go with some of the other papers. Oops, there goes that. So, I mean, look at that. Doesn't that look wonderful together? So, I like all that together. And, of course, I like the 4x4 four four journaling cards. Those are pretty, too. Here are 4x6 elements. They don't call them journaling cards. They call them elements. And I thought that if I didn't use this paper... These would be good for cards. You know, the zest, really? Live in the sunshine? Okay, well, thanks for being so sweet. We'll work it in a card, anyhow. But nice muted background. It's it's not strictly polka dots. You see there's some, um, I don't know what you'd call it, but it it's muted in some places. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. Love this page. Th this page would be fabulous as a traveler's notebook cover or cover of mini album. And there's the back. That's why I got two of most of those. All right, before I show you that one page, I want to show you um, other things. So this is Artisan's cardstock. This is an antique gray. If you've not used artisan cardstock for your mini albums or even cards, you owe it to yourself to try. 
it is just a nice quality card stock um, and I got this gray because I just thought it would go with some more of the muted um, collections that I'm working with lately so there is that I also got now this isn't it doesn't have the same texture as artisan cardstock but it's the craft color and I thought that that would work for um, well honestly it would work for the Echo Park you know this would be a nice background page because I always use black and I just I want to venture out want to be different do something different I got this burgundy because I was going to use this for that you may have already seen it but the baby dreams girl you know I'm glad I didn't wait for it because I don't think it would have I don't know what do you think I guess if you were to um, have taken the paper and used a burgundy to um, put around the edges if you inked up the edges with a dark red or burgundy it would have been fine because there are some burgundy tones in it see like on here that's burgundy um but now looking at it i'm sort of glad i didn't wait but i know i'll use it for something and then let me show you what i got i i need halloween like i need a hole in my head but it's graphic 45 it's graphic 45 halloween so i did get the 8x8 eight eight, but this one is the um, patterns and solids for the midnight tails and I you know I do a lot of simple mini albums because I like to get beginners passionate about making mini albums oh I love the owl and the ooh, I don't know what he is creature um, but I decided for Halloween I wanted to do something just with a little more oomph to it. Love the spider webs, even on green. And there's the background paper. And of course, I love this. I just love the deep orange with the lighter orange and the, the muted writing on it. This is a good background paper, you know, to put inside of pockets or on um, flaps or even on your photo mats are you seeing this side too isn't that fabulous here's that same pattern with the owl and the i know there's a word for this guy can't remember what what it is but anyhow and look at that witch i mean she's really sort of pretty huh this witch isn't in a neat sort of way it's a nice purple love the purple spider webs and that is just the solids patterns and solids paper so there's that now let's look at the rest of the graphic 45 i did get their ephemera collection i'll show you that in a little bit but let's take a look at and now that i look at this so i also got some seam binding i wish i'd gotten black i wish i'd gotten purple I wish I'd gotten orange. You know, wish I'd gotten it all. Wish I got it all. Um, I got a 12 by 12 piece just for the cover because the cover might be bigger than 8 by 8. So I wanted to add that in. So let's take a look. I know my mini album is going to be smaller than 8 by 8. No. This will not do on the cover, it, it's not going to be square. Um, but I like that anyhow, and I might make a card out of it. I don't know. Just glitter it up. Spider webby black background with purple. Spiders. Sorry, I guess I'm, I'm in a campground in Maine, and I think they're emptying the trash. There is nothing I can do about that. I guess I could stop recording, but then you'd never see this. Look at the pumpkins, and again... I'm going to hit my autofocus so you can see all the detail in that. Focus, you. Focus. Okay. I'm going to take it off of autofocus because it's going to drive you and me crazy. 
But it will go a little closer. How's that? There, that's better. Sorry. Um, so anyhow, three pages of that. Which you know how I love getting threes of something. Nice journaling cards. These are going to come in handy for the project that I have in mind. Oh, that's a nice background with the pumpkins on green. So three of those, too. Oh, this is cool because you get some of the stamps, which I love the stamps. Those are the same stamps as here. So I can cut those out and use that for uh, something special. So there is that. There is a, so this is the same pattern that was on that Patterns and Solids. Gremlin? No, still not the word I'm looking for. Oh, love this stripe. And this is the same one I got in 12 by 12. Ah, see? There's a bunch of these guys. What are they called? I can't remember. Somebody clue me in. Who are these guys featured on the second to last page of the 8x8 in Graphic 45's Midnight Tales? And this is nice because they're um, border strips and that kind of thing. And more of the stamps. How many of you guys have cut out these templates? I have. And it work, they work wonderfully. Um, it wasn't this one. Although this is good because I don't have a punch to make the tags. What, that kind of tag. So it's always nice to have a template. So that way you don't mess. But this is a good template to have. There's another one. The library. Um, library card? I don't know. In one of my previous videos. I talked about it. I used it. I thought it was fabulous. All right, let's take a look at this ephemera and then I will let you go. So there is this. Oh, this is a nice weight. Um, and don't you love those little cutouts? Can you see it with the... That is cool. Nice tag. Ah, oh, look, little tickets. I love it. Oh, look at the detail on that, that cut apart there. That is beautiful. I'll take out all these and lay them so you can see the beautiful ephemera that comes. Oh, this is fun. If I were making cards, I could stamp something fun on cards. That says fly away, and again, it's cut out with the little peekaboo inside trick or treat this this is what i was looking for so this is a clock face can you see that the clock face isn't that fabulous oh you could put that over it with the hands coming out from the pumpkin oh i don't know so many so many things so there's that there's the pumpkin says Hocus Pocus, which would be, would be a great title to my mini album, All Hollow Eve. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't see those. Abracadabra. Oh, you know why? Because I uh, moved them in, so I'll have to show you them in a little bit. The bat. So, yeah, here's the reverse cutouts from the, the pumpkin. Some of these you can't use, but look, you could use that. Um, a keyhole? Sorry, I don't have a plain surface to put it on. Lights of Fancy. Another little tag. Boo. You could just put that on photos. These elements, look at that. Isn't that fabulous? There's two of them. I think those are fun. Another little tag that says spooky. Um, the tag, a, ta a double-sided tag. Oh, this could be like if you were to make a traveler's notebook. This could go around the outside of it. This kind of tag. I'm going to have to go back out. Hold on. Okay. 
Can you see now? Another tag. Uh, sort of a pocket watch. Another bat. A frame. Another pumpkin. His eyeball is still in. Oh, here's another smile. Another tag. Something else you could use on a traveler's notebook. Uh, another another tag. The witching hour with all these teeny tiny little holes. You see that? Oops, stop focusing. All right, so there is a pennant. There is a pennant. There is a pennant. What's on that side? More spider webs. There's another tag. Some creepy leaves. Another pumpkin. The key to go with the lock. Ooh, look at that key. That's pretty fabulous. To go with that lock. Another swirly gig. More creepy leaves. Another smile to the pumpkin. Oh, teeny tiny little tag, a little spider. <gasps> oh, that would be fun. And then the rest of these are probably um, just the, the offsets that come here. Look at, I get four smiles, five smiles, and no eyeballs. Well, one eyeball that's in there, but that doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. It's just funny. Oh, here's more leaves. So, oh no, there's more over here. Oh, it says number. Do I have a number somewhere? No, I don't think I do. Eek. Hocus Pocus with those, whatever the heck those creepy things are. Another little spider tag. Somebody put in the comments what the heck those those are, just so I know what to call them. So, number 48, assorted pieces. So, that is what I have for you from my haul from Country Craft Creations and an in-depth look at the Graphic 45 Midnight Tales um, Patterns and Solids and 8x8 Collection Kit. So I hope you found that useful. Tell me if you're going to get this Graphic 45 collection, what you're going to do with it. And tell me what the heck those, tell me what he is. That is your quest today. Thank you so much for watching. Look, there's two witches. Are they riding double? Double trouble. Anyhow, thanks so much for watching. Have a fabulous day.